When it comes to this type of emergency response, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice says it's all hands on deck. And for now, he says the situation is under control. With East Palestine being 240 miles from Charleston and even closer to the northern panhandle, there continues to be concerns about water and air contamination reaching West Virginia and beyond. While trace chemicals from the accidents have shown up in some air and water samples, Governor Justice and his staff say they are not anywhere near dangerous levels. Still, the West Virginia DHHR, DEP, and Homeland Security in both states continue to keep each other in touch with the equivalent federal agencies. There's lots and lots and lots of updates, and if we get anything that seems the, the least bit alarming, you'll hear immediately from me. But, uh, but right now, I think we're in great shape, and, uh, and we're going to stay on top of it. The public is, is rightly concerned about this issue, and we want everyone to know that we are coordinating closely with all of our state partners from the Department of Environmental Protection and Emergency Management Divisions uh, to monitor this situation very closely. Now the Justice Administration says some trace chemicals were detected at air quality monitors in the northern panhandle, but not anywhere else in the state. The DEP says the levels detected are not dangerous. Senator Shelley Moore Capita says those responsible for the derailment and chemical leak, quote unquote, will pay. Norfolk Southern will pay for this, uh, both monetarily and, and, and probably in other ways uh, in, in turn. Uh, and I think that is a given. And if they don't, I think that uh, the, the powers that be, Congress and otherwise, uh, will come in uh, with a heavy hand there. Senator Capito also says that she believes the cleanup from the derailment could last four years and for her office is working to continue to make sure West Virginians are safe.